As promised in the previous video, I would like to explain you how to build a custom control. In this case, the control that irritates me so much, and this is the entry uh, control on uh, .NET MAUI. So it's relatively similar as, uh, as on Xamarin, although there are a few changes. So essentially on Xamarin we had before renderer, now we have handlers. And I have already prepared a link which you can visit to understand how the handlers essentially work. And um, I'm not going to jump too much into the details. I want this to be as short as possible. So the entry here that you see is visible on the manage event. Now here you will see that I have a, con a custom control which is called st standard entry. And here I have some options that you usually don't see in your implementation. For instance, you don't see a padding, you don't see a corridor radius or border color. So if I would do something like writing the entry here, I would not have border, I would not have padding, I would not have border color obviously, which is which was not visible at the start. So how do I those fields? So first thing that you need to do is you need to define your class. And I did this inside the custom control. You define a class which has a bindable properties. And I created a bindable property of corner radius, border thickness, whatever. Whatever you want, you can put it here. And then you specify your getters and setters. And then um, it's important that this is actually of type entry. So you're essentially inheriting the entry there. So that's more or less is that's your kind of a consider it as, as, as a, like a, a head class, which you're going to use afterwards to map the values of this class to the platform specific values. Now, how do you do this? You have here platforms folder. And when you open it, you will see some subfolders. You will see the subfolder of Android, you will see iOS, and you will see Mac Catalyst, at least for me for now. Now here, as you see here, I have entry mapper right here, I have entry mapper here, and I have entry mapper here. So what is changing? So you see here that I left the same namespace, and this namespace game is, is actually something relatively important. Um, and then you can actually switch here the, the, the type. So if I'm, if I'm opening this file, it's using .NET on Android. If I'm using this one, it's using .NET on iOS. So what you have to do here is you essentially checking what is your view, what is your I element here. And if view is a standard entry, which is this guy here, um, then what you need to do, you need to map these values to the very specific uh, settings um, on, the, on, on the platform level. So uh, exactly here, you're setting the background here in the Android views. And now this is a bit of a tricky part because you need to actually check the documentation, analyze how this thing works, etc. It's very much the same on the, on the Apple uh, side. So you need to figure it out, you know, how to update the background, how to set up the border radius and these things. So it's not very easy to do this. It's actually quite annoying and quite difficult to do all this. And uh, yeah, I even have some specific class here for the UI text padding. Um, but anyways, it was a bit of a journey to set, us, set these things all up. It, it, was, it was actually quite difficult and it required a lot of Googling there. Now, this is not a, a brand new control. It is just essentially um, extending the entry to the level which should have from the start, like I, I cannot stress this enough. Um, the same code I have for the Mac Catalyst, so nothing is actually different here. And what now? So now you have the classes, platform specific classes and implementations, and you have a model, which is a standard entry. So what do you do now? Now in the MAUI program here, now you have something which is called here, you can access the handlers and you can append um, your handler. And here, what I'm doing is I'm saying that I'm adding a classic, in my opinion, classic um, um, uh, mapping. And what I'm saying is if view is a standard entry, if, if, if it's a this guy, then please map me 
uh, the view uh, for my event handler, uh, for my in entry mapper here. So it's, it's really, really uh, sometimes difficult and confusing to start with, um, and bec especially because it is not very, it's not so close to the, to the Xamarin approach. So it is a bit different here. And uh, yeah, this, this is the way how you do this. So essentially you would have to do it in a couple of places and then your standard entry is becoming available. You can actually use it anywhere where you like. You can on a main page even, let me just try. So I'm just going to try to get standard entry. It will already suggest me to use a specific namespace. And uh, you know I can here add uh, border color or whatever whatever I actually need. Now, obviously, um, this is not you know production ready code. So you already see here some uh, invalid uh, possible invalid operation exception. So it is just something that I really really want to uh, test. Um, unfortunately, unsuccessfully so far. But if you take a look at the simulator, it, it here works, actually, emulator. Um, so here it works and I choose only this one. I was also customizing these things for the event, uh, for the uh, dates and for the, uh, for the drop downs uh, in, in my other application. So essentially I just copy pasted the code and it's important to say that the code that you see here is a result of a lot of Googling. So yeah. Um, I'm not the owner of all of this code, so some of them is, is, is copy paste and some of them is, is some of it is, is parts of, 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 uh, of Xamarin code. So I hope this is going to help you. It, um, I know how struggling it can be. So thank you very much for your time and I hope that uh, this was fruitful.